Hello, this is Klopla321. This is tutorial 029, and this one's about saving files. Now, um, earlier I went over on how to get files with file uh, with file get contents, where you put in the file name and then um, in here, and then you put the variable um, equals this. Well, today we're going to be going over how to save files. So first of all let's just have some data that we want to put in and I'm going to say um, this is my test to see if it works um, and uh, I'm gonna say that as the variable there that I want to save stuff into and I'm gonna say the file name is uh, let's just say test.txt for text and I'm gonna save it there now a really easy way of doing this is doing um, file put contents. Now this only works in PHP 5. It does not work in PHP 4. Now if I went ahead and did uh, file get contents, um, it also works in PHP 4. However, only greater than or equal to 4.3. Um, so this function works on most all servers however this function may not work on all servers I will go and show you how to do, have a function like this one um, in just a few minutes here so I'm going to put this um, thing here and I'm going to say that the file name is this file name that variable that I had and then I'm going to put in the data and I'm going to save it now if I go here um, that was a test earlier um, and I click on tutorial 029.php um, I'm not going to have anything here because I have not echoed anything now if I go back and refresh I'm going to see this test.txt and I'm going to click on it and it says this is my test to see if it works now if I went and said um, testing wants uh, more into here and save and then go back here and going back to the PHP file which I just made I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to refresh. Now you can see this is much larger um, in byte size and if I go here this is my test to see if it works testing once more. Now if I went ahead and go went to php.net and I went to file uh, put contents into the search you can see that there are other uh, flags that you can set. Flags are um, settings that you can put in that uh, will make it act differently. Um, pretty much it's another parameter for how it acts. Um, now file append, uh, this is a constant which PHP has set before every page and um, as it describes if a file name already exists um, it appends the data to the file instead of overriding it. Mutually exclusive with a lock blah blah blah. Um, so this is the most important part. It adds on to the file. It appends to the file. Now, uh, and it's it's only um, a string. It's only for writing strings. It's not for writing binary. Um, this one, as describes here, um, it's identical calling. Uh, just a second here. F open, F write, and F close. And I'll show you how to use those in a second. Um, back to here. So if I went and changed this to uh, PHP, and I went and said here uh, PHP um, echo my socks rock. And then I um, did that and closed it. Not like a normal um, HTML, but as PHP and save. And I'm going to come back here and click on this again. Go back and refresh. As you can see, there are, there's a new file, test.php. If I click on it, it says My Socks Rock. Now, if I went ahead and um, went and opened it up here uh, with test.php, it's going to say, the exact same thing which I put in here. So, uh, so now how do you? Now um, I'm going to describe how uh, how one would go forward and make um, the same thing in a lower version of PHP than just five. Well, 
if you want to um, write to a file, you're going to do uh, a file handler. So we're just going to call it fh. And I'm going to say f open for file open. And I'm going to put in the file name here. And then the string mode, it's w for write. You can go to php.net and check it out here. Um, where uh, the mode like W for writing only, um, W plus is for reading and writing. So if I go back here and as you can see I have that done but uh, I want to set the contents to something so I'm going to say F writes for file writing and I'm going to say um, I'm going to put in the file handler and which is the resource handle that's the resource which it which I defined here and I'm going to go forward and put in the data and uh, the length you do not need to worry about it's usually automatic and then I need to close the uh, the handle on the file and I'm just going to do that and it's um, pretty much straightforward like that so I'm going to go back and put it as test2.txt and I'm going to say um, I'm just going to copy this um, like the sky and I'm going to take out this rest of the PHP here and I'm going to save it. Now if I come back to the directory here you'll notice nothing has really changed so I'll click back on tutorial 029 um, it's executed now so if I go back and refresh we have a text2.txt txt, and if I go back to it um, it says my socks rock like the sky so I've just demonstrated to you how you can use um, in uh, PHP f uh, 4 um, you can use the below to save a file um, and then in PHP uh, 5 you can use the below line to save a file um, you'll kind of notice that this is a lot shorter and less complex than this. You don't have to memorize the uh, the modes and all that stuff in order to uh, save files and read from them, etc. Um, if you wanted to get the contents of stuff, um, you have to do after you do f open, you have to do f read. But you also have to set this um, string mode so that it allows you to. So I would do W plus. And I would go forward and get the resource handle. And then I would have to put in the length of how long I want to read. And uh, that's all I have for this tutorial. If you like my tutorials, please rate them. And if you do, um, if you like to see future tutorials, you can uh, it'd be nice if you could subscribe. Um, you can check out my site at cloudflow321.com slash php tutorials or with a hyphen between php and tutorials um, to see my, to my tutorials. If you just put in slash tutorials after my site, uh, that'll work too. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to send me a message through my site or through YouTube. Uh, thanks for seeing this tutorial. If you have any suggestions or uh, requests for future tutorials, please let me know. I'll be getting on to um, more things around the data lines of databases and uh, things like that. And uh, that's all for this tutorial. Signing off, Cloplop321.